Hello everybody and uh, welcome to my Pokemon Fire Red Let's Play. Uh, yeah, I'll be playing through Pokemon Fire Red, so uh, let's get started. I don't know why it's saying that. <laughs> okay, let's start a new game. Uh, it will start off by telling you about all of the controls, but they're fairly easy to grasp. Uh, and this will give you some insight into the story in case you uh, want to learn about it. But you can just press pause if you want to read that. So we get led into the game by Professor Oak. Uh, he's the main professor of this game and uh, he tells you that the world is inhabited by Pokemon and uh, what they're used for and uh, he studies them as a profession. So next he you have to tell him about who you are. <laughs> I was a bit quick there but you can choose to be either the boy or the girl character and uh, next you choose your name. It's best to go with all caps in this game just because it, you know it's consistent with all of the characters in the game so it's easier just being that way. Uh, my name is Sean so let's go with that. You just get to confirm it. And uh, next you're telling him about his um, grandson <laughs> for some reason. Uh, but he, he's your rival and uh, his name in the anime is Gary so let's just uh, be consistent and you get to confirm that too. So he tells you that your own legend is about to uh, unfold and so you get shrunk down to size and you get led into your room in Pallet Town. So you have all the standard stuff in your room, telly, NES and such, but you have a PC over here um, and you can withdraw an item, so it's a potion in, the, uh, in here which is nice because it helps you surefire win the first battle which is always good. Uh, but you'll have a mailbox which is fairly useless to be honest and you'll have item storage in case you ever need to store anything but you don't necessarily have to store it here you um, can store it in other places too and just quickly I will go into the options and uh, change the text speed to fast and the sound to stereo and I'll change this to 5, that's quite nice so let's move on, go down the stairs here's our mum but uh, we don't really speak to her very much during the game um, so this is Pallet Town. There isn't very much to do here. Um, this water's for later on in the game when we can use Surf. There are a few people dotted around in case you want to speak to them, and that's Gary's house. Uh, but we'll just start off by going north. But we get stopped by Professor Oak. So here he is. And uh, he's telling us that wild Pokemon live in the grass, so it's unsafe and we must have our own Pokemon. So he'll lead us to, our, to his lab, sorry, and uh, yeah this is his lab, filled with all his aids, and uh, so he tells us exactly what's going to happen, and then we can choose one of three Pokemon, and uh, we can choose one. So uh, there are three different type of Pokemon, Bulbasaur, the grass poison type, it's usually just a grass type, but it's grass poison type. Um, yeah, so there's Squirtle, which is a water type, and uh, finally Charmander, who is uh, a fire type. Gary will choose whichever one he's he's strong. Your strong. Um, sorry, he is strong against. So if you choose Squirtle, he'll use Bulbasaur, and uh, and so on. So um, like grass beats water, water beats fire, and fire beats grass. It's like a little triangle. Uh, in this game, I'm going to be choosing Squirtle. Uh, thought about it, but I quite like Squirtle. Quite like water types in general, really. And so uh, you get to give it a nickname. Um, I haven't really thought about this nickname actually, but uh, let's just name it something silly. Who, who cares? There is a name rater later on in the game, so you can change your nicknames in case uh, you know you want to change your mind. So yeah, <laughs> and uh, yeah, Gary will choose the Bulbasaur. So next you want to head out of the lab, but Gary will stop you and uh, he'll want to battle you. Don't worry about uh, type advantages in this part of the game because this first battle doesn't have anything like that. It only has normal type moves which doesn't matter really. So don't worry. Uh, but yeah, you essentially have, well, Oak is telling you about everything. Um, you'll have, this is where you choose your Pokemon if you want to switch out bag is where you have your items, fight, and then you have 
either, well you're at this point you'll have either an attacking move or a defensive move. Uh, Tail Whip in particular lowers Bulbasaur's defense and Tackle just does damage. Um, in this battle it's probably best to just do damage um, because it's not worth it to go for the other the other one. So uh, yeah, while this is going on, and it's a very standard battle, don't worry about it, um, I'll go into what the Pokemon are like. So Bulbasaur is a Grass Poison type, evolves at level 16 into Ivysaur and at level 36 into Venusaur. Uh, they stay Grass Poison type for the entirety of the, uh, their evolutions. Um, I'd say Bulbasaur is probably the best out of the three, which is unusual for Grass types. Um, just because they have very balanced stats, they're quite fast, and have very good special attack, which is what they need in this game. Um, yeah, they learn a lot of status inflicting moves such as um, such as sleep and paralysis and stuff like that. Um, Charmander the fire type evolves into Charman Charmeleon sorry, at level uh, 16 and evolves into Charizard which is a fire flying type at level 36. Um, Charizard is very offensive, it learns a lot of good fire type moves and um, it has very high special attack and even pretty good physical attack and it's very speedy. The problem is that I feel that there are better fire types and flying types for example. Um, but uh, it's still a good Pokemon, it's definitely worth using. However, it will struggle against the first two gyms, so be wary of that. You will definitely want a second Pokemon, especially for the se uh, second gym. Um, Squirtle is probably the second best, in my opinion. Um, he has very balanced stats and is much better defensively, but he still has very good offensive stats. Um, can learn a whole variety of moves and does very well against the first gym. Um, struggles slightly in the second and third gyms, but is very good generally, um, and it's definitely a very good choice. Um, so next we'll head up here. This uh, this grass contains Pokémon, and we get up right, uh, get onto Route One. So uh, if you speak to this man, I think it's a man. <laughs> uh, he works at the uh, Viridian City Pokémon Mart, and he'll give you a free potion, which is uh, always good. So there are. Well, here's the Pokemon fight now. So here's Rattata. Um, I may as well go into it now. Rattata is a normal type. Um, evolves into Raticate at level 20. Um, it's not that good. It's good for an HM slave, um, although there are better HM slaves. Um, but it can learn things like Cut and Strength and Rock Smash, so it's definitely good to have one around. Um, but for use on your team, I wouldn't recommend it at all. It's just its stats just aren't good enough. Um, but yeah, it is good against this route to train up a little bit. So as you go past, you um, may as well fight them and uh, knock them out. Um, I didn't manage to get through. Okay, I hope this is the other one. Oh, it is. Okay, so this is Pidgey. Pidgey is a normal flying type, and um, unfortunately for Pidgey, it's quite a defensive normal flying type. Um, it doesn't do very well against the first few gyms, uh, which is what you've got to be focusing on, really. Um, so, its stats are quite balanced. It has decent attack and pretty good speed. Um, the problem it has is that it's very mediocre. It has fairly lousy stats, to be honest with you. Um, there are definitely better normal flying types. Um, so those are the only two Pokémon on this route. Um, once you get through here, you will actually get into Viridian City. Uh, there isn't too much to do here at first, but I'll lead you through the main buildings. This is the Pokémon Center, where you come to heal your Pokémon. It's all free of charge, uh, so you don't need to worry about that. But if your Pokemon are ever low on health, then you'll definitely want to come here. Um, there's also the PC here where you can deal with Pokemon related matters, and you can also st uh, store your items, which is, you know, you can also st store them there. Uh, up here is the Pokemon Mart, which I said about just a minute ago. Here you can buy items, but at this point in the game, you can't buy them yet. You can uh, talk to this person and uh, you'll get Oak's parcel which you have to deliver to him. Um, 
However, if you do go in and out, you can buy items. Although I think at the moment he'll only stock uh, potions, which you don't really need. Um, I'll just come round here. This is in, this is in fact the actual last gym. You can't fight this gym until much later in the game. Um, but that's what a gym looks like if you wanted to know. Um, you can't go north yet. Um, an old man is blocking your way, uh, so you can't really go beyond this point. But really, you want to just be heading back to Pallet Town and uh, delivering his parcel. So we'll uh, so we'll head back to Route One and uh, eventually head back to Pallet Town. You can jump down these ledges so that you can avoid the grass, uh, but there's a little bit of grass that you must walk through, which is here. Luckily, I managed to avoid a fight. Uh, so we'll jump back into Oak's lab. And uh, he'll be there. And uh, he'll tell you that it's growing attached to you. But you deliver his parcel. Uh, most people think this is probably the Master Ball, but there's no proof on that. But he uh, also calls Gary over. And he tells you that he's invented the Pokedex. Uh, and he'll give us the Pokedex, which is used for registering Pokemon data, and it'll also tell you where you can get a uh, certain Pokemon, and it'll also give you some Pokeballs, so you can catch some Pokemon. You can try out catching Pokemon on the uh, the fir on Route One, but uh, I, I don't recommend using either of those two in the game because they're just not good enough. Um, Pidgey's probably the better of the two, but even so, it's still just not usable. Um, Harry tells you that it's not worth visiting his sister, but we uh, should take that chance, and uh, she'll give you the town map. It's not it's not really used that often, as there is a town map in every Pokemon Center, but in case you're on the go and you don't know where you're going next, that's always um, a good thing. Um, so yeah, we'll head back over to Viridian City, and uh, this is very annoying. <laughs> but at this point in the game, you do really want to be training on wild Pokémon. Um, uh, although, really, it's not it's not essential. But at this point in the game, it's good to get some early experience. Um, although, you know after the first gym, say, I probably wouldn't recommend training on wild Pokemon anymore. They just... they don't give enough experience, and trainer Pokemon always give much more experience, so... it's always a good idea to do that instead. Although, some trainer battles you can skip, if uh, if that's what you uh, want to do. Although I will fight every Pokemon trainer in the game, well, that I know of, uh, just so I can get as much experience as I can, so I don't have to do as much training later on. Uh, this is very annoying. Right, okay, so let's keep going. Later on in the game you can buy repels so that well Pokemon won't bother you, uh, but they only work if the Pokemon are lower level than you in the route. If you're the same level or they're higher, then uh, you'll still encounter them. So you must keep that in mind. I also didn't mention up here, if you um, have a link cable, uh, you can trade with other Pokemon up there, uh, with other people, sorry, <laughs> up there. And uh, yeah, that's where you battle, trade Pokemon with people, that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, this is a cut tree, we can't really use that yet, but uh, when we get the first, I think it's after the th just before the third badge we'll be able to use that. Uh, if we just cut behind here, we can actually find ourselves a potion, and also another cut bush, but we don't really need to use that. Uh, now this way you probably won't want to be going too far because Gary will have a rival battle waiting for you, um, and he's quite strong actually. Uh, it's probably best to go here just before the first gym. But there are two new Pokemon here. Uh, first of all, um, you can find Mankey, who is a fighting type, and of this, as of 
this game. Uh, he is the fastest fighting type Pokemon. Um, Mankey evolves into Prime Ape at I think level 32. It's a decent Pokemon. It has good good attack and good speed. Um, it's a little lacking in defenses, but it's a decent Pokemon. It's definitely usable if you started with Charmander. It's a very good choice for the first gym, as Charmander, Charmander sorry, will struggle. Um, however, it's not. It does fall behind a little bit as a fighting type later on, as there are better ones. But for this point in the game, it's a pretty decent Pokemon. It's a solid Pokemon. Um, the other Pokemon is Fi uh, Spiro, sorry. It evolves into Spiro at level 22, I think. Uh, it's a normal flying type, just like Pidgey, although Fero is much more offensive. It um, learns fairly the, sa it's the same moves, really. Um, it struggles defensively, but it has good attacking stats and good speed. It's definitely better than Pidgey, but it's not amazing. There are still better flying types. Um, but it's a solid choice. Both of the new Pokemon on that route are solid choices. Uh, but yeah, I will skip that rival battle just for now. I will go back to it later on. So this old man has now woken up and he's had his coffee. Uh, so we'll teach you how to um, catch Pokemon. So a wild Pokemon will just appear in town and uh, he'll catch this Weedle. He'll show you how to catch it. This isn't a very good demonstration as um, you must weaken a Pokemon with your attacking moves uh, till about the red, red zone and uh, that will be the best time to catch Pokemon. Uh, at full health it's less likely to catch but um, you can try it, I mean you know. But yeah that's essentially how you catch a Pokemon, you just go into your bag and select a Pokeball and throw it. <laughs> uh, the Teachy TV will, is basically just a tutorial thing. If you're struggling then um, you know, you can use that and uh, you can um, learn about it, but uh, it's not that usable. I wouldn't bother using it very often. <laughs> uh, another cut bush here, but we can't really use that yet. We don't really need to use that for now. There are a few items there, but you know, I don't think there's, we're missing too much. Okay, so this is the entrance to Viridian Forest. Um, if you don't have any antidotes, at this point in the game. Um, I'd probably go back to the Viridian City Pokemon Mart and buy some, uh, which I am actually going to do, um, as there are a lot of Pokemon in the forest which can poison you and they'll wear down your health and um, you'll need a Pokemon Center or an antidote to wear it off. Um, so it's probably advisable to have some. Um, so we'll just head back to the Pokemon Mart just head in here. Okay, so okay, so you can buy Pokeballs, potions, and antidotes, and Paralyze heals. Um, I'd say probably three antidotes would be fine. You may want to buy, like, say, two Paralyze heals as well. If you're lacking on potions as well, you could also buy those. Uh, you shouldn't need any more Pokeballs at this point in the game, but uh, if you're going on a catching spree, you might want to buy a few more. Um, so yeah, we'll head back up to that gate. Um, route 2. So just starting out, Viridian Forest does contain a lot of bug type Pokemon. Um, it also contains a very special electric type. Um, but yeah, we'll just head in right now. Okay, so this is Viridian Forest. Um, there are trainer battles in this, so you will fight your first trainers in here, unless you did fight Gary already. Um, oh, and you also fought him in Oak's Lab, I forgot about that. Okay, so we'll, we'll just go through the Pokemon first of all. Uh, the, well, okay, this is Metapod. Um, Metapod evolves from Caterpie at level 7, although this is level 5, um, and evolves into Butterfree at level 10. Um, they are bug types until they evolve into Butterfree, which is a bug flying type. Um, Butterfree has decent speed and special attack. The problem is that both of its types, bug and flying, are physically based in this game, and so it struggles. 
um, it is generally not a very good choice for Pokemon and um, there are billions of better bug types and definitely better flying types. Um, however if you just love Butterfree and you must have it then um, I definitely recommend catching Caterpie rather than Metapod because Metapod will only have Harden um, which is a defensive move and won't have any attacking moves at all whereas Caterpie will start off with I think Tackle uh, but you'll have at least some offensive uh, move there whereas with Metapod you've got nothing Okay, we'll lead on to Be uh, we Weedle, sorry. Uh, Weedle is a bug poison type. Um, essentially is the counterpart to um, Caterpie in that it evolves at level 7 into Kakuna, which is essentially the same as Metapod, and evolves into um, Beedrill at level 10. Uh, Beedrill is a bug poison type, the same as its pre-evolutions, and is more physically based. It's got good physical attack and good special defense. Juggles a little in speed, but it's still quite good. Um, Beedrill is probably better than Butterfree because it's because both of its uh, same type attack bonus moves are, um, def are, are both physically inclined. So it won't be struggling as much when it's trying to find moves and learns pretty decent moves. Also, it's one of, I think, only two Pokemon um, before the... Um, after game that actually learns a usable bug type move which is twin needle uh, so that may sway you I don't know um, Beedrill is a decent Pokemon and it's probably worth using um, although there are better bug types still um, so yeah I don't think there's anything I'm missing here's Caterpie um, the only other Pokemon in this in this forest is, uh, well, a new Pokemon, should I say, uh, is Pikachu. Pikachu is found very rarely, only 5% of the time. Um, it's an electric type, as most people know, and evolves into Raichu through the use of a Thunderstone, which you can obtain after the fourth gym, I think. Um, Pikachu starts off quite lousy. It's very speedy, but has virtually no special attack and physical attack. It's quite, it's very weak. It's decent, but just not that good. When it evolves into Raichu, however, it does pick up some very balanced, uh, very balanced attacking stats, and um, has good electric type moves to back up those moves, to back up those stats, sorry. Its special defense is decent, um, and it's very speedy. Um, and its HP stat is pretty good as well. The only problem is that it has very low physical attack. Uh, defense, sorry. Uh, so you'll want to keep it away from ground type moves which are physical in this generation. Um, so you'll definitely want to keep that in mind. Um, I am actually going to try and find myself a Pikachu. Uh, I want to use one, but not for the entire game. I am going to switch out for a different electric type later on, as I'm not that big a fan of uh, Pikachu and Raichu. Although I think they will help me uh, especially with the second gym, which is a water type gym. Um, okay, well, I'm not getting anywhere fast here, but I think I'll, um, I think I'll pause the recording and uh, restart it when I do actually find myself a Pikachu. So uh, I'll be uh, back in a second. Okay, well, that took much longer than I planned, but I finally found a Pikachu. Uh, so yeah, let's try our best to actually catch this thing and not knock it out. <laughs> that will be very annoying. Okay, well that's done a nice amount of damage. Now this is not good. Okay, well that's okay. Okay, I've got to be very wary of those electric type moves. Speed drop isn't very relevant, but uh, it's fine. Okay, well I think I can survive another one. Okay, so you go into your Pokeball pack and use a Pokeball. Sometimes it doesn't catch like that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is all just... It's all just luck, really. It's all down to the random number generator. 
if you get that if you get that uh, noise and that look then uh, you've caught it. And there's Pikachu. Okay, well I think I'll give this a very generic Pikachu name. Sparky. It's good enough for me. <laughs> right, okay, so let's uh Oh, I haven't actually shown you this. This is what uh, they look like in their status page. So it shows them their nature, where you met them, your ID number, who the original trainer is, what item they've got, etc. etc. Also shows their abilities, a new um, new feature in this game. So it basically just gives you gives you a bit of an indication of what the ability does underneath it. And they show you his moveset. So you can see that Sparky here's got Thundershock and Growl as static. Uh, contact means that um, it's you're making contact, so like say a punching move or a kicking move or something like that uh, is when you make contact. Um, I think I'm going to try and avoid another ra random encounter. I think I'm going to try and avoid the um, uh, trainers in here and I will go back to the Pokemon Center and I will get back here. I did do a bit of off screen training and leveled up my Squirtle to level 9. Probably a little useless but I thought I'd do it anyway just because I was seeing too many Kakunas. Uh, so yeah let's get back to Viridian City and uh, we'll heal up our Pokemon. It's always good to do this periodically just uh, so you don't white out. In this game, if you do white out, which means you lose all of your Pokémon, uh, well, they faint and not lose them, uh, you um, lose half your money. So uh, you've got to be very careful with that uh, and make sure that uh, you have plenty of items when you're on the go, and uh, you don't, you know, you don't take too many risks. So uh, let's head back to uh, Viridian Forest, and um, we'll carry on. There are a lot of bug types in this uh, in this forest. You'll see too many of them, and you'll get very sick of them very fast. But um, hey, let's uh, move swiftly on. Okay, so I'm going to switch my Pikachu up to the front. Now, while I reckon that Pikachu will probably be a little well, I'll try it, but it will probably be a little too weak to fight. So what I'll do is. I'll um well I'll just show you. That's not a trainer. So yeah, some good good advice there. Uh, so this looks like to be the first trainer. So this is the first trainer battle where you're actually on your own. And uh, you don't have prefer Professor Oak's help. Oh, I didn't realise that was there, sorry. Uh, so let's try it, let's Thundershock. lowers speed so you don't go first, although I wasn't going first anyway so I guess it doesn't matter too much. Okay well that's a little too much for my li uh, little too little for my liking but let's keep trying. I was only wanting to do string shot at the moment anyway. Uh, so yeah we'll keep going. Yeah so the first gym is rock type um, it has a lot of rock types in it, um, although they are also all ground types, and electric moves aren't effective at all against um, ground types. Uh, so I want to keep Pikachu away from that gym. Uh, so I want to do as much training for it as I can um, before I move on. So. Uh, Okay, well that didn't go too badly. I was hoping that poison thing didn't too, didn't do too much damage. Yeah, it didn't. So um, let's keep trying. These first few, few battles do take a very long time. Um, you do get a little sick of them, <laughs> but um, it's not too bad. So yeah, that's missing. Not all moves have 100% accuracy. So um, 
some, not all, but some moves do have a chance of missing. So if you miss, you just do nothing for the turn. Uh, luckily, Thundershock and Bubble, my move, my main move on uh, Squirtle, are all 100% accuracy moves. So there's no struggling there. Caterpie can't hack it. You're right, it can't. Let's move swiftly on. Uh, there's another trainer here. I could skip him, but I will go fight him. You can talk to him, I just thought I may as well do a little dance. <laughs> okay, so let's move on to the next battle. Three Pokemon this time. Uh, that's a very high level Weedle. Okay. Let's uh, go for it again. So yeah, Pikachu it probably isn't the best choice of Pokemon. Um, but... It's a pretty good electric type. I won't complain too much. I mean, it's a good Pokemon. It's just, it's not amazing. Which is why I'm going to switch it later on in the game for a different electric type. Which unfortunately is as rare, so I'll be here forever. Um, but oh well. That Pokemon isn't till much later in the game. Tail Whip, that's going to be of no use to me. And another Weedle. Let's uh, keep fighting. So yeah, Sparky's got him. He's enough levels now that he can properly fight. He was able to fight before, so he's doing well. Wow, that did a lot of damage, actually. That did much more than I thought it would, actually. Poison Sting does have a chance of poisoning. I'm surprised I have not been poisoned already. Um, poison basically cuts 12% of your HP at the end of every turn. Um, if it's toxic poison, um, the, the damage will da uh, double every single turn. Although you won't face toxic till much later in the game, I, I assume. Okay, so here's a Kakuna. This thing's only going to be hardening, so it's not going to be doing too much damage to me. So yeah, I wouldn't worry too much about the um, Pokemon in this forest. They're not very... F uh, they're not very uh, fierce at all. Doing very little damage. They just take a long time because you're not incredibly strong yet. Um, but you do eventually get strong enough so that uh, you manage to take things out in one hit. Now what you saw there was a critical hit. Critical hit um, is basically when you do double damage with that move. So it calculates your damage and then doubles it. Um, or if your Pokemon has the ability Sniper, it triples it. Uh, but also, um, if your Pokemon has, if a, the opponent, sorry, has set up, say, uh, I can't think of a move, say Withdraw, which increases their defense by one stage, the critical hit ignores that and goes straight through it, and so it does double double damage regardless of any stat lowerings or boosts. Although if you increase your uh, stats and you get a critical hit. It does take that into account. Ouch! <laughs> See that can it can come um, very close, and I really shouldn't have done that. Okay, well that was very lucky. Um, I think I will switch this turn because I don't want to risk it. Although actually, I guess I could just use a potion. It's fine. Got plenty of them. So yeah, 20 HP. Using, just using String Shot anyway, but I didn't want to take the risk. Uh, so let's keep going. Seems to only want to use String Shot at the moment, uh, that's fine. Makes for a very boring battle, but it uh, you know, makes for easy experience as well. Very close to level 8. Uh, So yeah, Pikachu's low defensive stats could really uh, bite back at some stage. Um, but this is the only place where you can get Pikachu. And um, it's a decent Pokemon for the first few stages of the game. It does fall flat on its face a little bit later, but um, you know, it's good all the way through I'd say.
It's decent. It's not incredible. Thunder Wave. Okay, Thunder Wave is a move which paralyzes the opponent. So essentially, par paralysis means that uh, it cuts their speed by 75%, which is a substantial amount. So if you're struggling against a, an opponent, then you'll definitely want to be using that. Um, also, uh, paralysis has the chance, well, it has a 50% chance of. Oh, look, another one. Typical. It also has a 50% chance of um, making the opponent not do anything at all and uh, becomes fully paralysed so it can't move and uh, yeah it just doesn't do anything which is also beneficial for paralysis so it's definitely worth using and it's also good when you're trying to catch a wild Pokemon because it increases the chance of catching it by double I think it's double, it might be 1.5 times I think sleep's double actually uh, but also remember that electric type moves don't work against ground types so Thunder Wave is going to be useless against the first gym um, as even electric type status moves have no effect so do take that into account when you um, when you fight Brock who is the first gym leader he was supposed to be a rock type specialist but he does have uh, plenty of ground types in fact, every single Pokemon in the gym is a ground type, uh, and one of them isn't a rock type, so it should be called a ground type gym. Although there is a ground type gym later, so I won't tell you which one though. Okay, so this is a very boring fight, fighting very generic Pokemon, but it's gaining experience at least. Sparky's getting up there in levels. I'll just give Sparky all this experience because um, it's going to be of no use to me in the next gym, or in the first gym I should say. Uh, it's going to be doing nothing for me. And it has no other moves to, to use. Okay, so that's this guy taken out. At last. <laughs> okay, so moving swiftly on. I really cannot wait till I get repels and the running shoes because um, you can get running shoes in this game which is a nice addition okay very nearly there oh these signs give trainer tips so if you're ever um, needing a bit of help then uh, it'll give you some tips another world encounter Hello Caterpie, I do not need you. Okay, so I think this is the only required uh, trainer who you can fight in here. The rest of them I think are optional. Although it's definitely worth fighting all of the um, trainers in here, just for the experience. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't realise I was running out of PP. So yeah, you run... Um, you all of your moves have a certain amount of power points and once they have been all used you can't use that move until you either heal or use a PP recovery move uh, not move sorry item uh, there's poison I'm surprised it hasn't happened to me more than once but because um, that move has a 30 percent chance of poisoning which is quite high but uh, I'm glad it hasn't affected me more than once. It's very annoying, but that's what those antidotes are for. As also, I, did, I forgot to mention that poison outside of battle um, reduces your HP by one. Um, I think it's every three steps you take. Uh, it might be five, actually. But um, it basically means that your Pokemon is very prone to fainting. Um, it isn't until Generation 4 when they make it so you survive by one life point. Um, this was a risk actually because I don't know if I'll take it out. Oh good. I will use that antidote um, just so that I don't faint. Uh, so let's just use this. I'll just ignore that animation. It just shows a little animation in this game. It's exclusive to Fire Red and Leaf Green. Oh, come on, I'm two steps out. I 
annoying Weedle. I do not need you. Okay, so here's the gate. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, let's talk to the people in here. There's another helpful tip, I guess. Uh, if you don't want your Pokemon to evolve, um, then you can press B and it will stop evolving. Um, the only Pokemon I can think of that that would be useful for is um, Spearo, as it learns Aerialace at level 24 um, instead of not at all. <laughs> but it uh, evolves into Fear at level 22, so you know, you've got to be. Uh, if you want that move, I mean, you can get it in a TM, which I'll talk about later. Um, but you know, if you can get it through level up, that's better, I guess. And it's only holding off two levels. Um, so I think I will end this for this episode. Um, on the next episode, I think we'll take on the next gym. Um, I hope this doesn't bore you too much with all the bug types. But uh, yeah, I'll uh, see you next time on uh, on this adventure. <laughs> see you later, guys.